Good morning, and welcome to Daylight with Dean number 232 on December 7th, 2020. I know I promised I wouldn't do this in the car again, but the uh, situation deems it necessary. But before we do, I didn't forget my coffee. Let's enjoy our coffee together. Mm-mm-mm. You notice when I'm driving and drinking my coffee, I don't close my eyes. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm so grateful you're here with me this morning. Uh, since I'm taking just a short break from the gym, I'm not getting up at the ungodly hour of 5.05 and having my alarm go off today. I woke up at 6.05, <clears throat> spent about an hour with my wife, sipping coffee, just connecting, talking, being with each other, and uh, helping get her off the out the door at 7.40. And while I was doing that, I was planning on coming in, putting on my Steeler jersey, and filming daylight. However, as soon as I got Leslie out the door, I came back in the kitchen, and my youngest daughter was there doing her first class of the morning. So I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not doing daylight here. So uh, then I got a phone call that a project that we've been waiting to do down at the church uh, that we put on hold through COVID. It was supposed to happen last Monday and start and uh, the rain and snow delayed us. I got a call from John Gromley our concrete guy uh, that we are starting the widening of the concrete uh, project at the river this morning so even though it is uh, my day off officially uh, we're heading down to the church to get started with them I'm not going to be doing much heavy lifting but like to uh, supervise and just check in and be around while it's happening so uh, that is that is what is going on. So if you were concerned that I'm not well, that I'm uh, messing things up on your morning routine with daylight, it's okay. We're just we're just pivoting right now for you know just a little bit to get things figured out and schedule wise and how to film daylight with my kids staying home and. All that it is nice to spend some time with my wife in the morning instead of running to the gym at 6:15 and uh, missing all of that time together but I am going to be getting back to the gym uh, so I'm just driving down to the church it's just a mile I'm just about to pull in now so I don't the, the concrete guys are going to be here in just a little bit, so I will walk you around and show you the project as we have it slated. And uh, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and park in the Ross Walker parking lot. Ross and his family have been phenomenally amazing neighbors over the 14 years that we've been meeting at 200 Freeport Road. They're gracious, they're generous, they let us park in their parking lot. Uh, they are just good, good people. And um, I'm so grateful for them. So it's kind of cold outside. I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but it is. So I'm going to put my hood up. Woo! I'm going to grab my phone, and we're going to go on a little field trip. Of course, I'm not going anywhere without my coffee. So, make sure I got my keys. <laughs> the other day, I didn't tell you, I went into the gym, and uh, somehow, I went to leave the gym, and my keys were missing. Couldn't figure out where they went, how they were missing, 
or what exactly was going on. So, uh, I had a guy at the gym that was leaving at the same time I was, heading back to New Kensington, and asked him if he could give me a ride, and he did. So, then I got the spare keys when my wife was leaving for school and asked her if she could give me a ride back to the gym so I could pick up the Tahoe. And as she did that, um, I drove back, got to my house, searched every square inch of the Tahoe, thinking I had locked my keys in the car and uh, couldn't find, couldn't find the keys in the Tahoe, so I figured they absolutely had to be at the gym. So I went back to the gym and started searching, still couldn't find them, and sat down on the couch where I got ready for the gym when I went and started putting my hands all around every crack and crevice and in between the two cushions of the gym couch was, were my keys. So I have Tahoe key issues. However, I got them. They're going in my pocket. I don't know if you saw my Tahoe that was in the sermon this spring, but this is my lovely Tahoe. It's my 2008 Chevy Tahoe. It was my uncle's and a tree fell on it and smashed the hood, smashed the fenders, smashed the windshield, smashed the roof, and smashed out the back window. But everything else was perfect on it. It is immaculate inside. And my uncle agreed to sell it to me for uh, the insurance, what they didn't pay him to fix it, because he was getting a different one. And... Uh, I bought it, got a front windshield and back window in it. Thanks so much to Balone's Glass, they're amazing. Uh, got it inspected, been enjoying it. Got new tires for it two weeks ago. Thanks to the generosity of a friend who gave me two tires he had and then I bought two new ones. And uh, so our 2008 Tahoe is the most enjoyable car we have that we drive right now. Okay, so I'm at the church. Let me give you a preview in selfie mode of what we're doing. Uh, there's our sidewalk. You can see the sidewalk in front of the church. It's a great sidewalk. There's only one issue with the sidewalk. It's a one-lane bridge. I mean, only one person can walk on the side. Uh, only one person can walk on the sidewalk at a time and that's an issue and so we've raised money through the generosity of so many people that love and support the river to widen the sidewalk and we're going to have a i don't know is it six feet wide eight feet wide ten feet wide i don't know we're going to have a wide sidewalk that john gromley uh and his boys are going to be installing for us so before they do it they have to remove the old sidewalk, and we're going to come in straight off the road, right straight alongside where that other sidewalk is. We're going to lift that up and pour a double wide sidewalk the whole way in. So we're quite excited about that project starting this morning. <clears throat> I'm so glad that you are here with us. Time for another sip of coffee. The coffee gets really cold really quick when it's outside and it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit, that is. Leslie and I watch quite a bit of HGTV and a number of those shows are filmed in Canada. And when they're doing renovations outside in Canada in the wintertime, they talk about it being negative four degrees. And Leslie's like, I can't believe it's... They're working when it's below zero, and I'm like, well, it's below zero Celsius, which probably means somewhere in the 20s. Uh, so we are close to zero degrees Celsius. If you're wondering what um, that number would be. Um, so if you want to see the sidewalk, I'll try to walk backwards for you. This is the famous a sloped sidewalk. It's also a water drain. So it's like when it rains, the sidewalk is uh, curved so that the water runs straight down it. And see this patch right here in the middle? 
Uh, John Gromley fixed that scene because wheelchairs have been known to get stuck in it and people falling out of wheelchairs uh, <laughs> because of... Uh, before that patch was there, there was a big gaping gap and a kind of a pothole in the sidewalk. So um, thank you so much to Brian Baker and his grandmother for their graciousness when she fell out of her wheelchair coming to church. It's not a very, uh, it's not a very strong um, advertisement for your church when it's like, come to church and fall out of your wheelchair on the way in. So, um, so this is the current sidewalk we're going to be removing this as well so we don't have two goofy looking parallel sidewalks coming uh together and so then this little jog in the sidewalk we're okay so then here is the drain where the water comes to can you see that drain so that's an interesting design feature and then this is the sidewalk that we walk uh, most people walk in and out of our church on Sunday, and literally it's like maybe three feet wide, <laughs> and it's just impossible to walk beside the person you want to walk beside. You have to walk front and back, and that is a challenge. So we're going to see if I can walk the whole way without falling, walking backwards. Whenever anybody moves furniture with me, I'm always the designated walk backwards person, so don't worry, I'm a paid professional. And uh, I want to thank Jason Fry for his strong suggestion over the years to widen the sidewalk. I never come in the side entrance, I always come in the back, so I was relatively unaware of the challenge that it is, but we're taking care of that. Now, See how narrow our side sidewalk is? Look how enormously wide our front sidewalk is. Yes, it's you could drive two trucks side by side down that sidewalk. The only problem is it starts with steps at Freeport Road and there's really nowhere to park to use the sidewalk. So, um, also want you to enjoy the great handicap ramp that John Gromley and his sons and our um, uh, Church Without Walls team put together, put this great ramp here, and then also this other one here. So that has enhanced our sidewalk and handicap ability accessibility. There's our Christmas tree. Thank you so much for the husband and wife that do such a great job with that. Well, guys, I'm going to sign off now i hope that you have a great day planned it's great being with you this morning sorry it's not sitting in front of my kitchen windows sipping coffee wearing my steeler jersey today it is live in selfie mode and down at the church so excited they say that by the end of the week the sidewalk will be poured and ready to go. It's going to warm up on Friday and Saturday, I believe. Thursday and Friday, Saturday. So we could be sitting pretty by Sunday. So, Well, guys, I love you. Let me, uh, let me pray for you and ask the Lord to surprise you <laughs> today with some good things. Um, and the things that are not desirable that come your way, I pray that the Lord will help you navigate those and possibly see uh, good that he is working even through those things that are not desirable. So let's pray. I will take my hood off and pray without my head covered. <laughs> let's pray. Dear Lord, we're so grateful for today. Thank you for Mondays. Thank you for the start of a new week, a fresh beginning, the opportunity to get it right. For those of us that uh, look forward to all that you have in store for us today, I pray, Lord, that you would open our eyes to see your activity, to see your work, to see what you're up to, so that we can just live with a heart of gratitude and thankfulness. For those of us that are facing challenging times right now, Lord, I just ask 
that your faithfulness and trustworthiness would shine through, that you would help each person bless them, help them as they navigate all that they're experiencing and going through right now. And Lord, I pray that you would bless each person watching today. Hold them close to you. Remind them of your love and your goodness. Draw them close to you, I pray. Thank you for the invitation to walk with you, to follow you. And thank you for the generosity of so many who made the widening of this sidewalk a very real possibility. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, everybody. Can't wait till I get to see you tomorrow on daylight. Who knows where and when it will be, but we'll see you soon. God bless. Bye.